Welcome to Real Filmmaking. My name is Corey, and today we're talking about crop mood. We're finally talking about crop mood. It is here. Man, it just takes Magic Lantern and it kicks it up a notch. This really is the year for the Canon EOS M. I've wanted to get on here and make a video about crop mood because, you know, over the last month, like, I've been really busy. It's been hard to get time to do stuff for YouTube. But, like, I've been seeing all these videos pop up about crop mood, seeing stuff in the Magic Lantern forum people talking about crop mood. I've just been seeing all this amazing stuff happening with it. And last week I finally got an opportunity to go out and test crop mood and shoot some with it. And you know, I'd been a little bit reluctant, uh, not because I'd heard anything negative, but you know, I like my comforts. I had my build of Magic Lantern I was using. I knew how to get the best out of different modes. So I was like, okay, do I really want to try something new? But man, after using crop mood, I think it's going to be really hard for me to go back to using older builds of Magic Lantern. Crop mood just, it's on a different level. This isn't going to be like a super deep dive into like my settings and stuff like that. I have a video like that coming, but those just take a lot more time to produce. But this is more of just like my, my first impressions about crop mood. So what is crop mood? I have been talking about it. You've probably seen it a lot if you look up Magic Lantern, but crop mood is a new build that has been worked on by Bilal, and we are so thankful as the Magic Lantern community, the EOSM community. Bilal, thank you so much. And just thank you to all the devs, like people like Bilal and Dan who have worked on these builds of Magic Lantern. Like, it's incredible to see where the camera has come. Like, even for me, just being a user in the last, like, three to four years, it's crazy how much we can do with this camera. And just it just keeps getting better and better. And so, Bilal, thank you for all your hard work on this build. Essentially, what Crop Mood is, is it is a build that Bilal has worked on, and he has really, like, optimized, like, the UI, like, the responsiveness of the camera, uh, updated things in different modes, where it's like Magic Lantern kind of feels like a different software, <laughs> almost, and, like just how it responds. The biggest change is like kind of in the UI, like I mentioned, in terms of like the displays, what you see on screen. A big thing is the live view. The live view is massively updated. <laughs> a lot of like what you see on the camera is what you get like when you film. And so in a lot of past modes, there'd be things like, especially in the higher modes, like 2.5, 2.8K, where it's like, what you would see on the screen wasn't like a real-time preview. Uh, there was workarounds, things you had to do to actually see like what the camera was shooting and capturing because of the crop. And so it like for me, it was always hard to shoot in those modes because I felt like I could never kind of get down a system of like what I was actually going to capture. So, you know, I stayed to 1080p and 5K FRTP, but now like 90% of the modes in uh, the crop mood give you a full real-time preview. Another big thing is the responsiveness of, you know, all the menus and everything. It feels way like snappier and how it does stuff, like when you're going into the menus and looking at things, getting in and out of stuff. It feels like this takes it to the next level in terms of like usability and like you can get in there and change stuff that you need to. So that's great. Another big thing is external monitors. External monitors work really well with crop mood. You know, I've only done a little bit of testing, but stuff I've seen on the forums and different videos, a lot of external monitors throughout the different modes of crop mood work really well. Like they're just compatible. And, and again, it used to be something with Magic Lantern where it's like, I knew there were certain modes I could use an external monitor. And even if I did, like I'd kind of have to compromise stuff. Like, all right, turn off the sound quality, drop the bit depth, things like that. But now it works really well. It looks like from watching some other people's videos and reading posts, it like it works well in a lot of the different modes. All of these things add up to be a massive undertaking from Bilal and just like what he's done in like making this build. A couple things that I've noticed while I've been shooting with the camera, they're not necessarily like negatives or bad things, but it's just stuff I've noticed and that you should be aware of like as you jump into using crop mood. The first thing is like the camera is noticeably warmer when you're using crop mood. Uh, I don't know if that has to do with how Bilal has programmed it to read raw data, capture stuff, but the camera is warmer in different modes. It's not like it's going to catch on fire and you need to be worried like it's so hot or anything, but it's just something to be aware of, especially if you live in a place with like a warmer climate. Like where I'm at right now, it's summer and we're getting up there. 
uh, you know, temperature wise. And so when I'm outside, it's just more noticeable. It's like, oh, the camera is hot from the sun. Also, it's like the camera just internally is running hotter. The other big thing that I've noticed, and I've seen other people mention this in their videos, in the crop mood, the camera is much more sensitive to light. Even if there's parts of your image that are like, you know, slightly overexposed or anything, it will affect like how the camera is processing the data. And, you know, it will go from like green to red on your icon like super quickly. So there was times when I was shooting stuff outside, just testing it where I'm like, whoa, I feel like the image is mostly exposed correctly. What's going on? And just finding out that the camera is really sensitive to light. And this is kind of across all the different modes of crop mood. And so, you know, it's very imperative, you know, that you make sure you have your exposure nailed correctly. Even sometimes slightly, I found like outside, like I would underexpose it just a little bit, you know, like maybe like a stop and that would really help. Uh, when I was out shooting, you know, I didn't have an ND filter with me because I just like, picked up my camera, ran out the door, and I just wasn't thinking about it, and the sun came out, it was really bright. So, you know, just grab, take an ND filter with you, uh, sh you know, shooting the shade, you know, just not directly in the sun, stuff like that, and you'll be good to go. So, all in all, like, this is really a game changer for Magic Lantern, the EOS M. Like, it is, <laughs> it is wild. If you're an M user, if you use Magic Lantern, I would highly recommend that you pick up Crop Mood. I'm gonna put links in the description where you can find it, and I'm gonna link to Bilal's video, where he goes really in depth of how to set your camera up, you know, do the install of the crop mood. And, you know, I watched the video like two or three times, like pausing it, going back, making sure I got all the settings. Cause you know, he has a way that he sets it up. And when you do that, like you'll be good to go, but it's a lot of information to take in. I'm also gonna put the links of a couple other M users who have videos up that I think do a really good job of like kind of walking through for the Canon EOS M, like how to set it up and the best settings. So. Go take a look at them, give them some love. Like I said, I'm going to have a video coming out in a while about like crop mood and my settings, but you know, it just takes a while to produce that. But yeah, I mean, crop mood's the real deal. You gotta check it out. So if you found this video helpful or you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Real Filmmaking for more content coming about cameras, creativity, you know, the EOS M, Magic Lantern. Until next time, keep making movies and watching movies, and I'll see you on Real Filmmaking. Now go get that crop mood. You know you want to. <laughs> it's so good.